Assalamualaikum, my name is Senat Darang Gata Taupo New 5 Dia punya model nombor Oppo R831L uh, RAM dia 1GB Dia punya uh, processor Quad-Core 1.0GHz uh, Android Vision 4.3GB Sekarang saya nak terangkan tentang gas Dia punya gesture and motion Kalau nak on screen, kita boleh double tap Ok, sekarang dia on kalau nak on touchlight, kita kena buat bentuk V Ok, sekarang touchlight on Ok Kalau nak on kamera, boleh buat bentuk O Dan kamera on Ok Kalau nak play lagu, kena slide ke bawah Kalau nak next speed, uh, next lagu, kena buat O oh, ke sana. Okay, sekarang kita lagi lain. Kalau lagu tadi semula, kena ulas semula. Okay, ni lagu tadi semula. Kalau nak uh, stop, buat slide ke bawah semula. Okay, dia stop punya gesture emotion ni kita boleh tukar. Ah uh, contoh kita nak kita nak uh, yang ni slide up ni kita nak guna on screen. Okey kita boleh unclock dia. Okey, lepas tu dia akan ni, kita kena tekan try. Okey, lepas tu kita slide screen, tutup screen. Dan slide ke atas. Okay, dia tunjuk tu Slide ke atas Okay dia on screen Boleh tukar lah Dia punya gesture emotion Itu uh, saja penerangan dari saya Terima kasih Assalamualaikum Hari ini saya akan jenitikan Berkaitan handset ini Iaitu handset P70 70 ataupun Lenovo P70. Handset ini adalah mempunyai dua SIM yang yang membolehkan kita masuk dua SIM tak kira apa SIM Sekom GG ke dan prosesor untuk handset ini adalah Octa-Core Ot ataupun Wildphone 7GHz dan handset ini kelebihannya adalah internalnya ialah 16GB dan micro SD nya boleh up sehingga 32GB dan handset ini mempunyai RAM 2GB dan kamera handset ini ialah kamera belakang adalah 13MP dan kamera depan ialah 5MP Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Selepas kita tengok review untuk Lenovo dan Oppo so sekarang kita akan lihat uh, review untuk ZTE Okey, sekarang saya akan review uh, saya akan sediakan review untuk ZTE uh, Black B7 Lite. Okey, macam okey ni. Black B7 Lite model terbaru daripada ZTE. So, saya akan tengok review dia lah. ZTE Black V7 Lite ini mempunyai skrin berukuran 5 inci uh, direka dengan kerangka metalik dan di sebelah kanan terdapat slot untuk SIM uh, ianya menyokong dui SIM dan juga butang kuasa dan di sebelah kiri seperti biasa butang uh, pelarasan audio kamera belakangnya sebesar 13 megapiksel dan kamera hadapan sebesar 8 megapiksel kapasiti bateri sebesar 2500 mAh dan ianya uh, dikuasakan oleh chip pemprosesan 4 teras 1.3 GHz daripada MediaTek RAM ni sebesar 2 GB dan memori dalaman uh, sebesar 
besar 16GB Ianya menjalankan Android 6.0 Marshmallow Jika anda lihat di bahagian belakang ini Terdapatnya pengimbas cap jari Untuk tujuan sekuriti Dan ianya boleh didapati di Malaysia Bermula 16 Mei ini Dengan harga RM669 Tetapi untuk tempoh masa terhad Anda mungkin boleh mendapatkannya Pada harga RM499 Jadi sekian sahaja pandang pertama Peranti ZTE Blade V7 Lite Daripada saya Nisa Dan Amaz uh, Jumpa lagi di video akan datang Yosh Seterusnya kita akan lihat pula review untuk handphone Samsung ataupun brand Samsung iaitu uh, Samsung Note 3. So, jom kita tengok. Review kita yang terakhir adalah review untuk iPhone 5. So, jom kita tengok review untuk iPhone 5. When you think about your iPhone, it's probably the object that you use most in your life. It's it's the product that you have with you all the time. With this unique relationship people have with their iPhone, we take changing it really seriously. We don't want to, to just make a new phone. We want to make a much better phone. iPhone 5 is the result of this approach. It's been completely redesigned. And for the first time ever, we've increased the size of the display. By making the screen taller, but not wider, you can see more of your content, but still comfortably use it with one hand. And yet, even with the larger display, iPhone 5 is the thinnest, lightest iPhone we've ever built. To achieve a design this thin, we had to look at making many of the components inside the design smaller. It's actually 18% thinner and 20% lighter than the previous iPhone. It took an incredible cross-collaborative effort to do this. From the beginning, we knew we wanted to bring LTE to the iPhone. What LTE does is it enables really fast downloads over your cellular network. You'll notice a big difference compared to previous network connectivity. In fact, LTE can actually be faster than the average Wi-Fi connection at home. The conventional approach of designing LTE into a world phone uses two chips. With the new iPhone, both voice and data technology are combined onto a single chip. This is one of the real breakthroughs that enables iPhone 5's thin design. We're also introducing an all-new Apple-designed A6 chip. It delivers performance that's up to twice as fast as the previous generation. You'll experience a big increase in speed in everything you use your iPhone for, especially in the way it delivers more detail and boosts frame rates in graphics-intensive apps. The A6 chip is so power-efficient that it increases performance while also increasing its battery life. Given the dimensions of the new phone and all the capability that we wanted to add, 
we needed to manage space inside the phone very carefully. We've created the new, much smaller lightning connector. It's all digital, so it's designed for today's uses. And we made it reversible, so it fits either way. We also moved to a sapphire lens cover, which is thinner and more durable than the previous cover glass. This really protects the optics and keeps your photos looking great. I don't think the level of invention has ever been matched by any other product we've done. The seamless integration between hardware and software makes everything you do on iPhone 5 just feel more fluid, responsive, and fast. And with its amazing display, you just feel like you can do more. It's great for watching HD videos in full widescreen. And in portrait mode, iPhone 5 still fits so comfortably in your hand. Our all new Maps application is fantastic. If you look at things like Flyover, it's a completely different experience than you've ever had before in Maps. And using turn-by-turn -turn spoken directions makes it really easy to get where you're going. Turn left onto Lombard Street. Then turn right onto Van Ness Avenue. The panorama feature is simply awesome. You can capture a panoramic photo just by moving your camera through the scene. Once you're done, the app combines what you capture into one beautiful panoramic shot. And now, Siri can do more for you. You can get sports scores and team schedules. Siri can also find places to eat and even help you make a reservation. Facebook is now integrated right into iOS 6, so you can post photos or share anything else you want to directly from your apps. And now, you can make a FaceTime call right over the cellular network, so no matter where you are, you're always able to see the ones you love. Along with the experience of actually using it, what makes iPhone 5 so unique is how it feels in your hand. The materials it's been made with the, the remarkable precision with which it's been built. Never before have we built a product with this extraordinary level of fit and finish. We've developed manufacturing processes that are our most complex and ambitious. Starting with the aluminium, we machine all of the surfaces of the enclosure. We then polish and texture them. We then use crystalline diamonds to cut the chamfers. It's so exact that you're left with a near mirror finish. These techniques create a dramatic distinction between the product's lightly textured back and its highly polished chamfered edge. This manufacturing precision extends to how these many pieces seamlessly come together. The inlay of the product is matched to the housing through a highly sophisticated process. With the part on a conveyor, two high-powered cameras take pictures of the housing. An instantaneous analysis is done, and then the best match out of a possible 725 cuts is determined. The variances from product to product we now measure in microns. We believe that going to such extreme lengths is the only way that we can deliver this level of quality. To create the new iPhone, we began with a design that we really loved, but to build it, to implement it, we had to look way beyond what we knew to be possible. It took all of our learning, our best thinking, to realize something so simple, so clear, and yet so truly extraordinary.